Esser Otto Hightower, the Hand of the King, notes in a small council meeting that Demon has not been seen at Runestone for quite some time. Demon insults his wife to the rest of the small council, mocking her as his bronze bitch, who he expects is happier for his absence. Otto states that Rhea is an honorable lady of the veil, though Demon continues to insult her, offering her to Otto, as he has recently lost his wife, which deeply offends him. Later, Viserys commands Demon to return to Runestone to be with his wife at once, though he takes Mysaria with him when he departs on Caraxes. Instead of returning to Runestone, Demon occupies Dragonstone for half a year, eventually writing to the small council that he is to take his lover, Mysaria, as his second wife in the custom of old Valyria, and steals a dragon egg meant for Prince Balin, for the child he is supposedly going to have with her. This notion comes to the end after Otto, unexpectedly aided by Princess Rhaenyra, arrive at Dragonstone to retrieve the egg. During the confrontation, Rhaenyra notes to Demon that he already has a wife, which Demon acknowledges, saying that Rhea was not of his choosing. When Demon returns to King's Landing from the war for the Stepstones, he and Rhaenyra talk of how he is married to a woman not of his choosing. Demon notes how the couple is childless, and mockingly suggests that no child would be able to grow in such hostile environs. Later, after rumors reach the king of Demon's affair with Rhaenyra, Demon asks to marry his own niece. When Viserys points out that Demon is already married, he asks to take another wife, much like the Conqueror did, but an infuriated Viserys tells Demon that he is merely a plague, and commands him to go back to Runestone. Rhea rides out into the fields of the Vale to hunt for deer, coming across her cousin Gerald Royce. He asks if she would like company for her hunt but she insists on going alone. While riding and searching for her quarry, she encounters a hooded figure blocking her passage back to Runestone whom she quickly recognizes as her husband Demon. She inquires on his presence in the Vale, sarcastically wondering if he is there to consummate their marriage, referring to his insult that the Vale's sheep are prettier than its women. She then reasons that perhaps Viserys has had enough of him in King's Landing and sent him there, mocking his right as heir being revoked in favor of Rhaenyra. Demon remains silent and tries to approach her horse, frightening it and making Rhea wary. Rhea asks if he will now kill Rhaenyra to get what he wants, but realizes that he means to kill her instead. She reaches for her bow, but her sudden actions and demon raising his hand cause her horse to fall onto its back, throwing her to the ground and breaking her neck. As her horse gets up and walks away, demon approaches Rhea and steps on her arm. When she has no reaction, he realizes she is now paralyzed. As demon walks away, she insults him for being unable to finish her off. In response, he picks up a large rock and approaches his helpless wife, before bludgeoning her to death. Ray's passing, reported as her falling off her horse and breaking her skull and neck, came as a shock to many, as she was known for her skills as a rider and hunter. At the feast in celebration of Rhaenyra and Laner Valerion's betrothal, Gerald confronts Demon for his cousin's death, which Demon disparagingly calls a tragic accident. Gerald accuses the prince of being involved in her death, but Demon instead talks about his inheritance following Ray's death, as he is meant to inherit all of Runestone since they have no children. Demon smugly mentions that following Rhaenyra's wedding, he will fly back to the Vale and petition Lady Jane Arryn to take what is his, angering Gerald.